Yo, what's up guys? Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to sync in Sony Vegas. Um, so this is to sync your clips, whether it be with the shots um, on Fortnite or your feeds in Call of Duty or even just adding a brightness effect like this. So I'm gonna give you a couple examples real quick and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So the first thing is, I'm gonna show you how this is synced right here. play that for you right on to the beats and then another example would be adding these uh, bright flashes whether it be black white gray I mean whatever color you want to put it works all right so I'm going to show you that I already have the song preloaded in here and two different clips I'm going to give examples on as well as I already synced it here, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing is you need to find a song. Um, whatever song you want to use, I used About Me. This is a song I'm going to use in the tutorial. Uh, and this works with any song. So first thing you want to do is find where your bass drops and or you want to start the edit and play it. And every time you hear a beat, you push M on the marker. So what I usually do is I let the song play a little bit and I'll hit the marker whenever I hear the beat. As you can see, I already did it, so I'm not gonna do it again, but I will play the song through just so you can see the beats are aligned. So this one's actually off a little bit, so I will bring it over here, cool. All right, so first thing I'm gonna show you with Fortnite. So we'll go ahead and do it to a Fortnite clip. Uh, first thing is, I always just pull up a folder like that, drag it and drop it into Vegas like that. Um, first thing you wanna do always when you add a new clip is right click the video, go to properties and disable resample. You need to do this to every clip. And personally, I mute the clip because that audio just gets in the way with my audio. So I mute that as well. So now uh, what you want to do is you want to find the exact point that he shoots and which is right there. You hit S on the keyboard and it splits it. So now you want to go where you split it and you just drag the whole thing to the first beat like that. And then you drag this one to connect it. And then once you do that, as you can see, this is synced here, I can do a little bit more. Okay, and that's that's how you sync Fortnite clips. Um, with Fortnite, it's pretty easy because there's not multiple shots. Um, then you can like split it here, you know, and add another video here and sync another shot over here. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Um, yeah, so that's it for the Fortnite, we'll go ahead and get into Call of Duty. So Call of Duty, uh, same thing. Call of Duty is a little bit more complex because there's multiple shots, especially if you are hitting kill feeds. So put the video in, right click, properties, disable resample, hit OK. Right click the audio, hit properties, hit mute, and you're good to go. So same thing with the um, with the Call of Duty clip, just like the Fortnite clip, is you want to find right where he shoots. Um, so for him, it is right here. So you go ahead and split that. Is that the first shot? Yep. So then you'll just, you know, clip it down, drag it to the front right here. This is where the bass drops. It's where your, your first shot is going to be. So if I give you a sample. <laughs> As you see, that hit perfect. So um, now with Call of Duty, I know that you have multiple clips, um, multiple shots. So you go ahead and fast forward to where you think he shoots next. Uh, for him, it's right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and split that. So now you just have a an audio or a video track. It's all kind of split up. Well, let's say you want the next shot to be on your fourth marker. So you drag the entire clip over to your fourth marker. So now this is technically synced. But now you have this awkward little black So in order to fix that, uh, personally what I like to do is I find a good spot that I think slow-mo is going to look. Um, usually go from about right here. So I'm going to go ahead and split that. 
set, split it. And then I'm going to go forward a few frames to about here, split it again. So as you can see, the, you know, I split from where he's kind of loading the gun back and reloading and shooting. So once you split all that, drag this back to here so it connects. And so now you have this part. This is the part you want to slow-mo. So you go where your cursor looks like this. Hold control should switch to time stretch. Now you drag the clip. You drag it all the way over so you connect it. So what that's going to do is it's going to slow this down for you. And then it's going to speed up again right here and should connect. So we'll go ahead and preview this. So that synced. Do it one more time for you so you can see it. Easy. Super easy. Super easy. So we'll go ahead and we'll just do one more. Um, he has another shot. Oh, looks like that's pretty much it. Okay. Same thing. Um, so like, we'll go ahead and I'm gonna Control Z all of this. Oh, that was Shift Z. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Get it back to where it's all just one. Okay. So again, I'm going to look for the clip right, right where he shoots, and it's right here. So now let's just say that I want it on two and not four. Well, that's going the opposite direction, and now I have a lot of things in my way. So I would try to find a spot. So now instead of slow mo, you're going to speed up. So I would go from about right here, split it. Go forward, I would keep going till about maybe here. Split it again, and zoom in. Same thing, hit control, but this time you drag it in like this. Okay, now drag that to there because that's gonna be right where your shot is. So now your shot is synced right on this beat. Now you have this still. So now you're gonna control again and drag it over and connect it. So now it's all just one. And then I'll go ahead and sync or uh, render that for you. See? And so now for both beats, it is synced again. And then you would do this so on throughout the clip. Um, Call of Duty would be a little bit more complex, more beats, more shots. Fortnite, very simple. Um, please, this is my first tutorial, so let me know how it was. Please let me know what you guys would like to learn, what you want to see, what effects you want to learn. Um, I will be doing a VFX breakdown on this montage once I am finished. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It is pretty cool. Um, please like, comment, tell me what you would like to learn. And that's all. Later, guys.